Welcome back. Gwazulu Natal Film Commission Board has uh, welcomed the SIU investigation into its procurement processes. The probe relates to alleged irregularities in the procurement of companies to partner and invest with the Film Commission in the development and operation of uh, the KwaZulu Natal Film Studios. During the financial year 2018 to 2019, the province embarked on a procurement process to identify an investment partner for the establishment of the film studios. The process was found to be irregular by the Auditor General in that uh, it identified the partner did not submit all that was required to be deemed administratively fully responsive. To speak now more about this is uh, the Kwasnotel Film Commission COO, Jackie Mutsepe. Very good evening to you and thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you for having me. Good evening, Tepiso. I see the Commission says it welcomes the SIU probe into these allegations of maladministration, corruption and fraud. Is that because you as a Commission actually asked for it? Uh, yes, yes, we did as the Film Commission. It was um, a directive from our board to really look into this matter, as you clearly stated, um, started out in 2018 and uh, resulted uh, in a finding from the Auditor, uh, Auditor General, which was deemed to be irregular. So the Commission has been dealing with this matter for quite some time to the extent that the board said that we do need to now take the inter intervention of the um, SIU in order to assist us with this matter further. Mm. But Ms. Mutsipa, perhaps you can clarify this for me. The Commission itself has said, and I quote, in accordance with the irregular expenditure guidelines, internal investigations were conducted, which confirmed that there were no instances of fraud and corruption in the matter. So if that was the case, why did you ask the SIU to help assist in what you term possible recoveries of funds lost to the state? It, it sounds a bit contradictory to me, or was it published incorrectly? Well, as far as the com Film Commission is concerned, um, there isn't fraud uh, and corruption, as has been stated uh, with regards to the Film Commission. Um, we really um, are asking the SIU to investigate this for us, really with regards to the, to the recovery of, of, of funds. These are public funds. The Film Commission needs to be able to account for public funds. Um, since 2018 to date, um, this hasn't been possible. Um, and now we have really reached out to the organs of state in the form of the SIU to, to assist us to, to do that. So the focus really is around um, the recovery of funds. What the SIU may find in the process, um, we obviously don't know, um, but the, our concern and the concern of the board is that uh, public funds are properly accounted for. Um, again, perhaps I, I'm missing something here. So the recovery of funds uh, does not exist in a vacuum. The proclamation announced by President Cyril Ramaphosa authorized an investigation into the Commission's procurement practices, especially regarding partnerships with these investments in the Guadalajara studio. So the cover, uh, the probe covers conduct as you mentioned from 2017 to 2024 but it does look at the issue of um, irregular expenditure uh, so that was identified by the auditor general uh, so are you saying when you say there was no fraud how did the money then go missing as it were so the uh, the KZN Film Commission um, actually invested uh, into um, a vehicle that was to be used to conduct the uh, establishment of studios in the in the province. These were the public funds um, that we're looking to uh, seek to, to to recover. The wording um, in the in the SIU document, I think, is. Um, something that we are going to be having a meeting with the SIU about. We haven't actually had a formal meeting with the SIU since the, uh, since the 
obligation was issued. Um, but it is a discussion that we're going to have in terms of uh, what are the what are the next steps, what is the scope of the investigation, and obviously um, what um, what what role is the SIB you going to take in terms of uh, assisting the full commission to to recover the funds. So when I speak to the fact that uh, there isn't a fraud or corruption within the film com commission, I'm speaking specifically about the, the entity itself. What um, the SIU may uncover then, um, you know, will, will be something that uh, will unfold over time. I do also want to mention that this is also a matter that is before court. Um, the Film Commission have uh, engaged attorneys to um, also assist us with this with this matter. So, um, uh, and this is the High Court in Peter Marisburg. So, the matter is for all in purpose is also sub judicate. So, in terms of how much uh, we can explore in terms of uh, a discussion, um, it's really quite uh, it's quite limited at this point in time. The discussion with me or with the SIU, because I understand that the scope of uh, that investigation will also look at uh, possible irregular uh, or should it culminate in that criminal behavior of uh, not only the uh, investment partners, but the entity itself. No, absolutely. It's, it's limited in terms of uh, you know our discussion currently in the interview. Obviously, we will cooperate uh, fully with the with the SIU um, and assist uh, fully with the with the investigations. What the ultimate findings of that investigation will be, obviously, no one can predetermine at this stage. But our stance as the Film Commission is that we requested the probe, um, and therefore we are going to be cooperating fully in that regard. Okay, so your understanding of the Auditor General's report then that uh, deemed uh, the partner as administratively. Uh, fully responsive that they were unable to do that what did you understand by then and when did it start becoming a concern for you that you should approach the local KZN uh, SIU to help you probe the matter so I think the the finding by the um, SIU is understandable and um, and straightforward. They deemed it uh, irregular in the sense that they were not uh, able to account for all the funds that had been awarded by the by the case of N uh, Film Commission. As I say, this has been an ongoing matter since then, since 2018 to date. We have not been able to respond adequately to the Auditor General. Um, and hence, we have escalated it through our board, um, you know, for the SIU to to assist us to um, recover the funds um, that are funds of the state. All right. In, in your statement, you also accuse uh, some entities, or you say there have been some inaccurate and misleading media reports. Can you expand a little bit on that? Well, I think the statement was to clarify the media reports that had gone out um, that were stating that there is um, corruption and fraud at the uh, KZN Film Commission and that the SIU has been brought in to, to probe such corruption at the, at the KZN Film Commission. So it's really just to clarify um, what we've been discussing, the fact that it isn't a probe into the Film Commission, but rather, um, you know, the Film Commission has requested the SIU um, you know, to probe this matter on our behalf and assist us with um, recovering the funds. But you do accept, and that's if my reading is correct, that the proclamation made by the president, as per the SIU uh, spokesperson Kaiser Khanyaho, uh, R 4539, authorizes the SIU to also um, look into the commission itself and its staffing, should it come to that? 
I suppose as, as it should be, you know, um, this is uh, a, something that was uh, issued by the KZN Film Commission um, in terms of the, the tender that went out into the public. So I guess that is um, would be a place where the SIU would start. As I've mentioned, we haven't had a formal meet meeting with the SIU. Okay. But Thank you. I would imagine they would want to understand where this started, which was at the at the film commission. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Much appreciated. Uh, the CEO of the Guazulu Natal uh, Film Commission, uh, Jackie Mutsubu.